what's good? It's Blake Mack, Kudokan Airdrop. I'm here with Jim Bonus Beats across the street. Let's do this. Dang. I'm pleased to take a walk outside. I'm pleased to take a walk outside. Get lit some time around midnight. The shit's about to blow, blow my dynamite. I'm pleased to take a walk outside. What is good? I'm here today with Blake Mack. Hey. How are you, my friend? Man, too good, brother. Too good. Welcome to the show. We out here today in Southeast. Where are we at? 47th? Nice, nice, nice choice. Nice drip today, too. That looks good. Hey. Um, welcome to the show. Uh, good friend of mine, Mr. Blake Mack, a.k.a. Dirty Black. We all know who he is. Um, I bring a gift for everybody. I'm sure you have a copy of one of these still. Oh, yeah. But this show was one of my favorite Portland shows uh, that me and Dirty Black attended together. We Love had a great it. time. Great time with that show. Love it, man. Shout out D-Marks right yeah. there. Shout out D-Marks. <laughs> Shout out the Ramps and Amps, too. They closed that, didn't they? They closed, like, shortly after that event, even, yeah. That's awesome, man. So, I got a gift for you as ooh, well. Uh, you know we've been running Kudokin. We're doing the reward store, the whole nine yards. I oh, want to make boy. sure you were ready for... Uh, for the metaverse, so I got you an Oculus uh, oh, Quest 2 straight from the reward what store. The fuck? Uh, so we'll drop this off real Bro. quick and uh, be right back with it. Dirty black. I was already thinking to myself when I was walking here, I was like, what do you get for the guy that has everything? So I was like, <laughs> I'm going to bring something kind of sentimental, and he brings me an Oculus. You fucking asshole. Well, we got to be ready for the uh, for the metaverse. You know what's coming. You uh, asshole dirty. You're always showing me up. Tire. Uh, and, as, and as long as we're at it, you know, we might as well break it out. Uh, we got the second game um, that's going to be coming out for Kudokin. It's the uh, Kudokin Cornhole VR. So it's going to be a VR game. You'll be able to toss the bean bags at it, wager Kudokin. It's going to be crazy. Uh, it's already in the works. Uh, I'll actually send you a video of it. You can go ahead and put it up there. Bing! Right here next to him right there. Um, for, a guy, the well. for a guy that's as studious as you are, you have a full-time job. You got a family. You, uh, you're you're known for around town for being a you know a performer and an entertainer, and then now you take on the Kadokan. Uh, what made that come about, Dirty? What made you feel like you needed to do that? <laughs> so, uh, <it's laughs> like you of, weren't doing enough. <laughs> right, right. It's kind of uh, it's kind of funny. It falls directly in line with what I already do. I'm a uh, I'm a uh, union electrician, as you guys know, low voltage technician. I talk about it all the time being in the union. Um, it's one of the greatest things that I ever did. Um, but along with doing low voltage and doing telecommunications design, stuff like that, you have the dog. Hey, buddy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, along with doing low voltage and all of that, uh, we've been programming systems. We've been doing all sorts of different stuff. Uh, I was a, a networking specialist as well. Worked for uh, Stream Global Services uh, and then later on for Microsoft and was on the launch team for the Surface tablet and all of that good stuff, which led me into doing a whole bunch of different technical and, and uh, computer related things, right? So it's just kind of the evolution. You know, blockchain really is the evolution of the industry of the web, Web 3.0, of, you know, kind of what I already do. We're going to be building server rooms for it. We're going to be doing all this different stuff, so. You've always been evil. real forward thinking, Dirty, ever since I've known you. You've always been kind of one step ahead of the curve, I feel like, when it comes to technology and innovation. And, and so this kind of makes sense to me to see you do, <laughs> do it all. Um, tell us a little bit about your team. I know you've got a quite a big team that kind of worked with you in the in relationship with the Kudokin, correct? Yeah, man. So uh, the whole way that Kudokin kind of came about was from Jesse Sponberg. Jesse Sponberg had originally started the Kudokin in 2018, and it was on the Waves platform. He was visionary well before time, well before the crash, and then the crash happened. So as the crash happened in cryptocurrency, it uh, kind of deaded the project at that point. Fast forward, we had gotten involved with Jesse. He was on Dirty Dabs um, back when <laughs> Go Ham was filming Dirty Dabs and uh, pre-COVID before uh, we shut D Dirty Dabs down. Um, 
So we'd been talking to Jesse a whole bunch. We'd done the holiday special with him and all sorts of different stuff. I told him about blockchain and what I was doing, and he had told me about his involvement. Originally, Jesse had done some stuff with the Dogecoin right when Dogecoin first started. And in fact, on the first Dogecoin conference in Portland, he was the person who hosted it. Oh, shit. Pretty crazy, right? Oh, wow. So he had known about blockchain, cryptocurrency since then, started Kudoken back then, it died down. I brought it back up and he was like, oh, we should get this rocking, you know? That fool lives on an island now. Yep, he is out there <laughs> in Flashtown, in love Hawaii. Love you, Jesse, love you, Jesse. <laughs> absolutely, uh, absolutely insane that we uh, got the property done, uh, that the uh, cats are out there that the, uh, the goats are coming to visit, the dogs are coming to visit. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a full sanctuary, exactly how he envisioned it. I so. think he celebrated, he said, one year of no meat today, I think is what he said. Mm -hmm. Major, major props to Jesse and uh, to Flashtown. It's, it's a yeah, dream come true. It how should are you be managing, operational by April. I know you're, you know, your, your profession, you're pretty good at managing a lot of different, you know, people and projects at the same time is are, are you are you handling the kudokan as well similar fashion are you yeah kudokan is a lot of energy that's our our, our uh, moniker our hashtag is energy is currency and uh it's it's kind of a a nod to that exactly you know i've got so many hats that i wear and so many different projects that i'm doing that kudokan has risen to the forefront it's kind of jumped in line because of this gold rush that is blockchain technology that is crypto um with that we had to kind of get our foot in the door uh remove this came came, came down the pipeline right afterwards we came up with the mining system and uh hamza who runs rapid dead games and intelligency um he jumped in there and kind of got everything the pot stirring and uh, took on the actual project management side of everything to get all the developers on the same on the same page how many so. people are you currently working with roughly i mean on the yeah so we got six people on the game development team wow and then i've got a uh, graphic designer uh two web hosts uh uh, guy who does all the API and all the background tech. Um, so roughly probably nine, ten people. Wow. Yeah, and if there's anything, you know, my good relationship with Dirty, of course, this guy goes full bore. When he starts a project, he really does <laughs> put on the floor. So congratulations. I hope this uh, really works out in the long run. And um, ha has the coin had some success yet? Or Yeah, absolutely. So we started out at uh, 0. 0.0001 and uh, went up 9,000%. That's nine times. Uh, and then went ahead and capped off right there. Uh, we went from no people inside of the Discord up to around 2,000 members and then came back down right now to kind of our median point. I think we're around 900 uh, people in the community. What, what is the challenges, I guess? I mean, I'm not a crypto person at all. Um, I'm mm -hmm. one of those people that are currently taking the bloodbath on the stupid-ass Dogecoin that I bought <laughs> <laughs> three years ago or something. But what are some of the challenges that, that are the hardest challenges, I guess, that for Kadokan to rise? Like, what does it really take for... Uh, just patience, you know, uh, people are so excited about the project right now and they want to see everything instantly and, you know, we're developing. Uh, we got to write code and do strict beta tests and make sure that everything's working inside of the ecosystem because there's going to be people who are out there trying to stress vulnerabilities and, uh, you know, trying to manipulate the system. So uh, it was basically just a lot of patience for the manifestation of the video game Remove This and for uh, getting every, all, all the ducks in a row. Now we're finally at that pinnacle where uh, we get to take off, so now's the fun. Well, those of us that have just met Blake Mack, <laughs> there's also <laughs> a fella, Dirty Black, AKA Dirty Black. My man here is quite the rapper. Quite the, quite the town influential. So you've thrown some dope shows around town. You've brought great people here. Um, courtesy of this man right here, I got to sit in a room with Keith Murray for five days. Um, I've had a lot of fun with you, Dirty. Absolutely, brother. We've had, we've had a blast over the last, like, three, four years. Just... Hey, brother, I appreciate you, man. I <laughs> appreciate you, man. We've, uh, we've gotten to do a whole lot of really cool stuff, and it's been uh, neat to see 
where the evolution of hip hop has gotten to take us in our lifetime, you know, from being fans of the music to actually going and living the entire hip hop scene. Um, it's, it's, it's been a journey. And uh, from seeing you rise, you know, with the camera, um, starting out, the first pictures that you were taking, you went from doing still frame photography to, you know, really captivating the audience with uh, what, what I'd call a cinematic, you know, video exchange. The stuff that you did with Anthony Rivera, where you really showed the, the roses on the ground and all of that stuff. It's been amazing to watch, you know, no, it's been You guys are like my earliest supporters. You got to give it up to the Trunk Mob, Dirty Black, Rick Runick. You guys mm -hmm. threw the camera in my hand and kind of took me off on this, so thanks. Definitely, absolutely, yeah. brother. So what have you been doing otherwise, man? You've been getting any R&R &R in? Uh, you, know, you, you haven't been around. Everybody keeps thinking you're missing, but you've just been busy, <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been, uh, it's been pretty amazing. Um, mainly everything has been technology-focused right now. As I said, we're kind of in this uh, gold rush of where everybody gets to establish themselves. So um, Kudokan Ecosystems moves further just th than just the launch of the token and the launch of our franchise remove this um so the next tokens that we have coming out are the show Rukin and also toka host uh okay. toka host i bring in a brand new uh subset a brand new team um i've got guys like episode alex lingle who works for intel um, he just got back from CES 2022. He was out there jamming and doing karaoke with Pink Floyd and some more stuff. Uh, as I said, he works for Intel, so he sets up all the robotics and the AR stuff for them. And uh, does some awesome stuff. I got Jeff Willis. Um, he works for the United States government right now as a cryptologist doing the security for the United States government and the uh, NSA. Um, so I'm bringing out my my uh, my big guns, my my my, my smart friends. <laughs> Speaking of the big guns, smart friends. Um, mm -hmm. uh, once again, I was blessed with the opportunity to work with uh, Champagne James and Rush One. Mm -hmm. Bing! Right here is the flyer for the Cross the Street concert series. Um, that's going to be on January 14th, uh, just right around the corner here, a few days away. So tap in on the link below for the event. Right, um, you can buy your tickets there. And uh, I'd love to see everybody come out and support some of the artists that we got on the bill, or all the artists that we got on the bill. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be out there. We're going to be doing crypto airdrops and bring some merch and some different stuff. I'm excited to see the photo booth uh, that's going to be up there. That's she right. hypey. It's going to be running that yeah. uh, in the new venture. So that's going to be the unveiling. Excited to see that. Yeah. Um, as well, uh, mentioning Rush One, um, he's part of the Kudokin, um, doing all of the merchandise and uh, all of the sublimation for the reward store. So inside of the Sweet. reward store, we've got skateboards, we've got hydro flasks, we've got T-shirts, hoodies, hats, the whole nine yards, and all that's put on by PR Print. So big shout, shout out to, out to Rush. Rush yeah, I love Rush. I just got off the phone with him this morning. Mm -hmm. Had a nice little chat about the show. Big ups to Rush. Big ups to Champagne. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Absolutely. Um, dope. So now that you got all this work done, um, what's the big reward? What's the ultimate dream, Dirty? What What is, what is this... What does this look like maybe in 10 years for you? What's it look like in 10 years? You know, anybody's guess. Uh, if we can get a shot of this this big bad boy right here. Uh, that's, that's the... <laughs> what is, it's, it's, it's the evolution. Oh, yeah, you jumping in here? <laughs> she working, she working. I don't look fine, like fried chicken. <laughs> she getting it in. Hey, hey, you look cool to me. We appreciate your service. Uh, so, yeah, the evolution of that, you know, is uh, the next 10 years. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it'll be really interesting to see uh, where we go from here. Um, right now, the video games, the evolution of the franchise, remove this. Um, the Kickstarter is just starting. We're actually going to start tomorrow on Monday, so this should probably be out. Be right today. at the yeah, right yeah, right today. at the same exact time. So yeah. we're gonna be running the Kickstarter. Uh, the Kickstarter gets into a five million KDU pool. So it's basically an initial public listing um, where you can go out, you can try the game out, you can earn some extra kudoksen by trying the game out, trying the system, the reward system and all that. And then afterwards, we're going to take and we're going to split up the rest of the 5 million KDU pool amongst the people who contributed to the Kickstarter. Wow. 
So uh, after the Kickstarter is done, it'll be the full public launch. We're already approved on Android and iOS, so we're on the Google Play Store and the uh, Apple i Store, and then we'll be coming out with the PC app right after. Is afterwards. this the way you're launching it? Is this something new that you just haven't seen anybody yeah. do yet? Or this is just... this is brand new. This is all proprietary technology that we've created. So wow. this is all owned wow. by Kudoken LLC. Um, and we have our own uh, Web 3.0 crypto wallet system where you can connect your decentralized wallet to the game app and then receive Kudoken wow. instantly inside of the game. Fuck. Yep, so it's going to be a real big deal uh, with the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter is going to not only fund uh, future uh, progress inside of the game, including a multiplayer campaign that has matchmaking, uh, top-down, third-person multiplayer campaign. It's going to tell the uh, first part of the story of what's going on inside of Remove This and the Mars Expedition. Um, and then it's going to go further into allowing people to do dailies, weeklies, and, uh, and nightfall strikes, uh, earning different rewards. Also, it'll have a chance to automatically win rewards. Look at that Porsche. Ooh, nice Porsche, yeah. You got, that, got the trailblazer, too. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking around, isn't uh, <laughs> So, uh, you'll not only be able to farm tokens and NFT rewards and different items for your for your character, but you'll also be able to get stuff directly out of the reward store from there. So you have the chance to win PS5s, Xbox Series X, Nintendo OLED, uh, Valve Index, you know. I, 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 once again, Dirty does not fuck around when it comes to, to, to making things happen. He brought me a fucking Oculus. He brought me an Oculus. Yeah? Yes, sir. Bro. You know how it is. <laughs> That's what we do. We don't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from the dirty dab Straight days. Straight from dirty dabs, yeah. uh, <laughs> And uh, so you, you guys will see we're about to do, I'm actually going to have you come over. Uh, we're going to do a uh, unveil video. I'll be showing the reward store. I'll be showing the brand new arcade systems. I got NBA Jam Special Edition with the riser and the stool. I got... Uh, T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles countercade. I got iPads. I got Beats headphones. I got all sorts of stuff. So we'll be showing it, uh, talking about how you get into the reward store, how you earn the tokens, uh, how you get into the Kickstarter, how you're able to get in and get a, get a little bit of a boost, and then what we're going to do from here. Nice. Um, we ran through about oh, 17 minutes here pretty quick. Dirty, uh, on the way out here, you want to give us some special love, PSA, shout-outs, words of encouragement? Absolutely, man. Shout-out to everybody in Portland, you know. What, I, what I'll definitely say uh, is we're going to get through this, you know. Right now is some tough times. Uh, everybody's seeing it. Everybody's feeling it. Um, we're going to get through this, and uh, it, it's going to be up to us to decide how we want the culture to be moving forward and how we want the city to be moving forward. Um, you know, I think that there's going to be kind of a change in, in guard and a change in the way that uh, people are interacting with each other, um, including the metaverse, including uh, uh, blockchain and all of this different stuff that's going to come in and kind of change interactions. So uh, hopefully some of that will curb some of this violence and some of the craziness that's going on right now and maybe uh, simmer down a little bit of the tension and tempers. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to everybody uh, who messes with the trunk mob, everybody who messes with any of the projects that we do. Um, of course, Jim Bonus Beats, uh, Northwest, uh, you know, all of the guys uh, who, who've done any of the videos for us, Bossic, uh, Phases, uh, DeAndre. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Rush One, of course, my brother, Jesse Sponberg, uh, the, the co-creator, co-founder of Kudokin. Um, Give a big shout out to uh, my girl, my uh, kids, uh, you know, everybody, man. Big ups Rick Runick out there, too, if you're listening, Rick. Oh, dang. Shout out to Rick. Shout out to my boy Rico. Just talked to him this morning, too. Numeric Beats. Shout out to Numeric Beats. He's going to send us some beats, so we got a little intermission music to play there at the, uh, at the show on the 14th. I like it. Shout uh, out to the Antelope Fisherman, man. Guys, Fish hey. gang, you know what it is. Uh... This has been a fun adventure, Dirty. Thank you so much for all your encouragement and I appreciate you, man. getting me started here and uh, giving me all this, uh, you know, excitement to, to do what we're doing here today. So thank you. Um, Definitely. If there's buddy. anything I can do for you in the future, brother, you just let me know. Hey. Love you, friend. My guy. Go Cheers. Across the street.